the star-studded cast of lawyers representing Deputy Chief Justice Philip M. Willow in court today evokes memories of the presidential poll petition one year ago. Under Sire Senator James Ongo, the same man who led a huddle of lawyers into convincing the Supreme Court to void President Uhuru Kenyatta's vote on grounds of anomalies, the judiciary's number two in command is spoiling for a bruising battle she hopes will save her both face and job. Working in concert with Mr. Ongo or his counterpart from Nyamira County or Congo Omogeny, senior lawyer John K. Minwa, Mr. Harun Dubai, Mr. Edward Wazwa and at least five others, all lawyers who have handled some of the watershed cases in the country. Like Mr. Ongo, Mr. Omogeny and Mr. K. Minwa are all senior counsel. Justice Mwilu has already indicated that her defense team will be arguing that the matter in question is a civil case involving a commercial bank and its client. Police, however, insist that since depositors' money was lost in the said matter, the case can only be criminal. Earlier Tuesday, Mr. Omogeny lost a battle with a team led by the Director of Public Prosecution Nor Audin Haji and Director of Criminal Investigations George Kanotai to have the case handled by Ms. Mwilu's employer, the Judicial Service Commission. The choice of lawyers will somewhat politicize the case since both Mr. Ongo and Mr. Omogeny are close allies of the opposition chief Rayla Odinger. The association could reinforce rumors which swelled among Jubilee Party supporters around the time of the petition that Ms. Mwilu was actually sympathetic to Mr. Odinger. Being part of the majority that overturned Mr. Kenyatta's victory, talk is rife that her arrest could have something to do with revisiting what is considered Mr. Kenyatta's threat to sort elements in the judiciary who humiliated him. Chief Justice David Marago agreed with the DCJ, Justices Smokin Wanjala and Isaac Lenala that the electoral body messed up transmission of poll results and ordered fresh elections. Judges Jack Denodjwang and Jokin Dungu dissented while Judge Mohammed Ibrahim, who fell ill on the second day of the case hearing, did not take part in the decision.